Welcome back to the broadcast. In our first hour, we introduced to you Flip Orly, who's been busy in our green room working on hypnotizing several people in our studio audience this morning. He's back with us now with all of the volunteers. volunteers. <laughs> okay, so they look a little sleepy, no? They, you know, and the funny thing is, this is what people assume when they think of the word hypnosis. People are sleeping and relaxed, and, and they look almost like a zombie or unconscious. Uh, however, their minds are very active. They can hear everything going on. Uh, so, for instance, for the gentleman who's I'm touching right here, when I reach three, and when your eyes come open, I knew your mouth would be really, really dry and very thirsty. You'll really want to drink from a bottle of water, and I'll hand you a bottle of water. However, your mouth will work like it's the same magnetic pull repelling the bottle, and you will not be able to drink the heart you try to drink the more possibly comes until at some point your other hand's going to figure out that it needs to communicate with the bottle so your hand the other hand will come up like a ventriloquist puppet or dummy and begin to talk with that bottle in a verbal way that we'll all be able to hear the voice will come out of your mouth but it actually the ventriloquist puppet or dummy which will talk the bottle into letting you drink meanwhile for all of you want to reach through your nose move lamps like great strong happy and confident but all the features on your face made of this weird rubbery substance having an infinite amount of elasticity myself or one of the hosts can grab a feature in your face stretching it to any point in the room when when we let it go, it'll snap back in your face in such a way it'll be noticeable as it pushes your face and head back in a very profound and noticeable way. I'm going to count from one to three. All of you want to reach three. Eyes can be feeling great. For the gentleman showing touch right here, really, really thirsty. Mouth getting more dry and uncomfortable. Absolutely demanding a bottle of water. Still deeply hypnotized. Here we go. One, two, three. Eyes can feel nice and relaxed. So anyway, I told you guys that we do some fun stuff, and hopefully you've had the chance. Uh, can I show you something interesting about how, how um, you can change, and, and parts of your body can change? And I'm going to take this real quick. Uh, this gentleman's name is Sterling, and we're going to go ahead and grab this and pull it over here. And I'm going to actually change hands real quick. Watch what happens when I let it go. I'm just going to kind of go like that. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> I'm really thirsty. I'm, I'm sorry, I missed what you said? A little dry? No. Okay, yeah, I what'd actually... You say, what'd you say? I'm thirsty. You're thirsty. <laughs> Not You're... like Friday, but there's... <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? Good for you. I'm a little bit thirsty as well. Cheers. Here's to you. Thanks again for having us on the show. I appreciate that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it is really sad looking, isn't it? I know. Hang on, I'm just going to come across. I'm sorry for walking through the shot. I wanted to just hit, kind of get an idea right over here. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys need to take this. Oh, Pinocchio! <laughs> go ahead and let that go. As well. <laughs> now, here's what might be interesting. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to grab this here. And I'm going to go all the way over here. Hang on a second. Check this out. I'm going to grab oh, over here. I'm going to tie these together in a double knot real quick. It won't hurt. Okay, now watch what happens while this go. Here we go. One, two, three. I should probably undo that real quick. Let me go ahead and do that. There we go. There we go. So I know you said you were thirsty. Go ahead and because uh, we've got things to do. We have a little bit more time, I would imagine. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. I, I, uh, sorry. I got to. Got to. I got to ask its permission to talk to me. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. If you got. You... Who's that? Who's, who's who? Who's this? <clears throat> What's this? This is my friend. <laughs> what? Uh, what? What did your friend need? What did your friend Nieder want to say, real quick? Because I know you're thirsty. Okay. Uh, can I have a drink? <laughs> <laughs> He's got an accent. Is there a, in, in a very international? <laughs> His friend is very suave. Yes. Yeah. Is your friend single? Thank you. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll ask again. Can I have a drink? Can he, is he allowed to take a drink? 
Uh, if, he, if, the, if the bottle says yes. Can, can my friend have a drink? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, now, this is a gentleman you definitely don't want to play quarters with. So, Flip, what is there... Everyone else throughout here, they... Is there anything that I can ask them or do with them? Well, or? Okay, so for instance, people get hypnotized in their own way, and some go under deeper at one point in time or another than others. So for instance, with Sterling, uh, I probably did the most amount of work with him. Uh, hang on a second. Yeah, I'm going to put that back over here. And, and so, so for instance, um, real quick, I'm going to count for three backwards. One, want to reach one of you, letting your eyes close back down, feeling nice, relaxed, and seated safe. Here we go. Three, two, one. I was just closing back down again, feeling relaxed. So to this point, I've seen response from everyone to one degree or another, but for instance, if I were doing a show like at the Improv, which I'll be there uh, tonight, tomorrow night, uh, like I, I'd probably, the biggest responses would, would have come from over here, and then also really big responses over here, and then to varying degrees through here. So, so again, um, um, like, uh, for instance, for the gentleman who told him to touch right here, I'm going to count from one to three. When I reach three foot, then letting your eyes move from absolutely great, strong and confident and happy. When your eyes come up, you realize the fact that you're, you, where you're seated, you don't like where the chair is, you want to move the chair, but the fact is, this chair looks like just a normal chair, but it's actually made of this really weird special compound, you know, like, uh, weighing over 3,000 pounds, you'll find it impossible to lift it no matter how hard you try, but that won't stop you from trying. The harder you try to lift that chair, the more impossible it becomes, but you know where it is is wrong. It needs to be somewhere else, maybe in front or further to the side, and you'll immediately, and with no hesitation, do your best to try to move that chair, but the harder you try, the more impossible it becomes, like the chair is literally bolted to the floor, weighing over 3,000 pounds, you won't be able to lift it, push it, pull it, tug it, or tow it. All of you, I'm going to count from one to three. You want to reach three feet, letting your eyes move, feeling absolutely great, but gently show them touching right here, and for all of you, realizing we're stirring is seated is a horrible place. It's going to aggravate every single one of you, and I know you're instantly, immediately, verbally going to let everyone here in the studio know that this chair needs to be moved immediately. When I reach three, I was playing great, still deeply hypnotized. Here we go. One, two, three. That's when I relax. So I don't know how much more time we have, but is there any other questions or comments or points anybody else has before I move on, just so I know? Everybody good? You should move your chair, Sterling. Great mind, single life. <laughs> it's impossible. It's just impossible. Help him move it all the way out. Yeah. Where would you like it? Uh, uh, him and all the way. Peaches. <laughs> <laughs> um, help him. Is your chair heavy? So heavy. <laughs> it's got, it's got, it's got to be, it's, you know, it's one of those. Nails. Yeah, it's nailed to the ground, probably. Yeah, we, yeah, we tried you know what? You stay where you, and I'll help you. And we'll do it on count of three. Ready? He's really one, heavy. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Uh, go ahead and say, Trixie, can I ask you a favor? Would you come do me a favor and move, move Sterling's kind chair? Sterling, kind of do it. Sterling, is that chair really heavy? I mean, like you really can't move it. Why is it so heavy? Oh. oh. Let's move, let's move so the time how heavy is it? Like how much? Even try. How much do you think it weighs? I don't know. Mm, there's you're no way you're getting that. There's no way. What? Oh. <laughs> Follow me, Sterling. Follow <laughs> <laughs> me. Oh, I didn't say put it over there. <laughs> Showing off. <stuff. laughs> so. All right, slow, easy breaths, feeling good. Oh, I'm eating to not hit a cut. What language is that? <laughs> I'm going to count from three backwards to one. Want to reach one if you would easily, just letting your eyes close back down again, still feeling relaxed and seated safe. Here we go. Three, two, one. I was just closing back down. So, like something that I initially do with people with hypnosis, just kind of help them go deeper, is, is to show how their minds uh, controls their bodies. So, for instance, I'm going to count from one to three for all of you. Want to reach three if you would, bringing your right arm up from your lap, extending your right arm directly out in front of your body, making a tight fist with your right hand as you drift even deeper into hypnosis. Want to reach three, right arm coming from left, please, if you would. Here we go. One, two, three. Right arm coming up from left, please, if you would. Now, tight fist with the right hand, beginning to make the arm stiff, straight, and very, very rigid. In a few moments, let me count from one to three. Want to reach three, arm so stiff, straight, and rigid, you will not be able to bend your arm to the elbow. Want to reach three, the harder you try to bend your arm, the more rigid it becomes. Here we go. One, arm like a steel bar, really pushing out from your body. Two, getting stiffer, getting straighter than it's ever been before. For all of you, finally, three, arm locked like a steel bar. In fact, you can actually try to bend that arm, but it really will not bend. Try as hard as you would like to. 
the harder you try, the more rigid it becomes. So you can see, if you look at people here, you're getting response from everyone to one degree or another, but then when you start moving into other areas, things like a very rubbery nose or, or more interactive that way, there's going to be a varying degree of response from people.